Hey everyone, we're here at Team 24 in Europe and today we are joined by App Fire. It's great to have you. Yes, thanks for having me. Uh, if you don't mind giving us an introduction and a little bit sure. about your app. I'm uh, Jamie Esker. I'm a product marketing manager at uh, App Fire. Um, I'm going to talk about Kamala Document Management today um, and how you can use it for approving documents in uh, Confluence. So I'll get started. So. Here we have our Getting Started page. Uh, once downloading the app, this will uh, appear. We have a nice interactive demo that you can kind of see how to use it. Um, and then also you can choose from different use cases that we have here that are um, what we've seen users uh, use it for. So getting started here, um, let me just choose this. One of our biggest uh, use cases right now is regulatory compliance. This will lead you to the documentation. But let's just stick here for now, and we want to say get started. And you're going to select a space to see where we want to actually apply this to. So I'm going to stick with our, let's see, where is my DORA compliance. So we're going to configure a workflow. And this will lead you to, oh, that's not working. <laughs> Demo life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to apply this manually. Usually that works. Uh, so we have going to the draft space. We're going to start with our space settings. And looking at uh, if we go down to app links and quality document management, this will let you apply a workflow. Um, and I'll show you that, but for demo purposes, I already have one applied. Uh, so here we have three out-of-the-box workflows, and then you can also uh, copy and basically customize it however you want. Uh, for give you, you can kind of see the, the detail here. And for a compliance workflow, I'm going to have a draft, a review, and approved. So this is pretty simple where um, it's just getting reviews, and then they'll go into an approved status. So let's go over to an incident that we are working on. So um, one thing is that, you know, using Confluence for documentation on incident responses and um, content governance, all of that, uh, this is somewhere where you can really communicate with teams and uh, keep everybody up to date. So for this example, I have an incident that was logged in JIRA and uh, they're documenting it here. This is where you can add information in. And so I have it here in the draft status. When your workflow is applied, it'll, it'll show up right here. And once I have, I'm ready for anybody to review it, I can add a comment here and just say, please review and add notes. And then I can add a reviewer. So let's show, uh, if you just search for, I'm gonna put Ed here because He's a nice guy. <laughs> and we can say, please reveal. And assign that to him. And he will be assigned here. He'll receive, receive a notification that he's uh, approved, or sorry, that he's assigned to approve this. Once he approves, it'll go into a final state. So another thing I wanted to show is that um, for, if you're using this for compliance or legal purposes, you know, we really show that this is for content governance, so we can use this for to achieve certifications. Um, and one of these is it audit, like if we're doing audits. Um, so this is an approved status right now. This is one that we did before, but I wanted to show that you have... Uh, that we can add expiration dates and then also use e-signatures to, uh, to record the approval so that it's secure and it verifies the identity. And a lot of the times this is needed for audits and uh, for compliance purposes. Uh, we also have where you can log the document activity here, where this is a report that you can pull where it shows all of the activity that's happened. And so you can see that the expiration date on this is December 25th. So then it will notify me when I need to review this so that we can keep all of our documents up to date. So with that, um, you know, there, we also have enhanced version control where if you pull this version control, you can go back to other versions um, where you can pull all of this information as well. Uh, the Confluence native features are only show like the changes in documents and 
um, timestamps and stuff like that, but this will include all of the comments, all of the uh, who approved it, who read it, all of that. So that's it in a nutshell. There's definitely more to show, but uh, we'll keep it short. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you so much. We'll definitely uh, send a link as well so cool. people can start a trial, book a demo with you guys. And that's uh, great. We appreciate having you here. Oh, cool. yeah, thanks so much for having me. Enjoy the event. <laughs> you too.